Okay, good morning guys and welcome back. I'm down here at Nick's Veggie Patch. I've just come down this morning to finish off a few bits and pieces. I came down yesterday, um, Saturday, and I was finishing off my raised beds and uh, doing my role as the warden. But yeah, there's lots to show you of what I've done on my vegetable plot and lots to be getting done this morning and then I'll be going home and doing several jobs in the garden at home obviously sorting out our raised beds and stuff at home and taking back some manure as well that I've brought so what I'll do guys I'll crack on and then I'll come back to you in a bit on a blowy blustery morning down here at Nick's Veggie Patch Right guys, this isn't going to be a very long video today, but I'm just going to show you what I've done um, this weekend and um, what I'm also planning to finish off today. I'm going to be up here for about an hour or two, but I've got these two raised beds here now finished off. As you can see, I've weeded them, cleared all the rubbish from them. And then what I've done is I've purchased some manure from another allotment in the area. They're an association, an allotment association. I mean, you might have one in your area, but I've purchased, they sell things in their hut. And one of the items they sell is mushroom manure. So I've put that on some of the raised beds. So there's mushroom manure on that one, mushroom manure on that one. Um, I've also done some more of the raised beds uh, to the left here as you uh, to the left there I will get in a bit closer so you can see so there's been quite a few jobs done up here at Nick's Veggie Patch um, and also what I'll do is I'll show you all the wonderful uh, vegetables that are coming up in my plot ready hopefully for a fantastic harvest this year so as I've said I've done this area here I've also kind of tried clearing the pathways there's a little bit of grass uh, just there which I'll need to pull up which has come through um, the stuff at the cloche underneath but what I'll do is I move the camera and I'll show you where else I've done and also show you what I intend to finish off today. Okay guys, you can see here that all these raised beds have been done over the last couple of weeks and also um, you can make out the raised bed there and the raised bed there they've all got uh two different varieties of broad bean in uh one is a broad bean variety called sutton the other one is called um giant exhibition i think it's called so they're in and they've been obviously covered over with netting uh the three raised beds that are here here and over in the far over here they haven't got anything in yet they will have eventually um, but the raised beds that I'm going to finish off now so the raised bed there just above the bed that's got the broad beans in that was done yesterday and then I've got this raised bed here to do and then I've got this raised bed this one and this one to get done the ones over in the corner next to those raised beds, they only just need um, uncovering and a few of the weeds pulled up. There isn't many in those two raised beds, so that's just a five minute job. But here it's just about clearing 
the it's four raised beds here they won't take long because one of them isn't too bad but clear those raised beds and then I'll show you what's been done afterwards and then I can get on with a few other jobs also the I forgot to say the raised bed which is just in up there which has got the purple sprouting broccoli in that purple sprouting broccoli is coming to an end so I'll eventually um, pull all that up and then that will be that raised bed clear um, that raised bed is probably going to take a variety of my potatoes because as you know I'm growing eight different varieties this year I love potatoes so I thought you know just push the boat out go for a few more varieties um, but yeah lots to be getting on with so I'll come back to you guys in a minute right guys I've done that raised bed now so that's cleared and also the one next to it is cleared it's just technically these two left to go and that one where the orange where the orange pot is um, but I've got to do stuff um, now before I can finish off these two raised beds so I just thought I'd give you an update up to there um, when I've completed a couple of things I've got to get done ASAP I will finish off these last two raised beds and then I'll come back to you guys with the finished article good morning guys so today it's 1st of April 2024 and I'm planting out my first early potatoes I've got four different varieties um, so the first variety that I'm going to be planting out in the two raised beds where you can see the cameras pointing out because I've got a lot of them is the Duke of York the red Duke of York they're an absolute fantastic variety I've grown them again I've grown them before so I thought I would grow them again um, if you remember rightly I spoke about growing eight different varieties of potatoes this year that's still the case um, because me and my wife like lots of potatoes and obviously we've got family members that will take some off of us as well but also if you remember rightly in the last video I said a work colleague a work colleague of mine called Michael Trod he's been doing this series that he uploads onto TikTok does it live and it's he did something called the spud series version 1.0 he's not long just done the pie series and when my potatoes are ready so I've got first early second early is a main crop he's going to take a different variety of each potato and then what he's going to do is he's going to he's going to say on his uh, TikTok channel what variety he likes the most so he's going to rate all the varieties and I think he's looking at rating them from 1 to 10 or whatever but he'll put his favorite varieties at the top and so on so yeah I've got eight varieties to get sown and I'm putting in the first earlies so I'm gonna get cracking on and I'll get the first lot in and show you where they're going So I've got my two raised beds here, they're all ready, prepared, ready to go. And they've had a good, nice lot of manure and compost in. I will put a bit more manure on top after I've done this. Um, I'm not going to disturb the soil too much, so I'm just going to use my dabber here. And I'm going to go down... 
so far just making a, a hole big enough for them to go down and that will protect them from the frost so I'll get cracking on with these and then what I'll do guys I'll come back to you and show you the finished article so I'll put the first one in first one in here has got a really nice chit that's what we call it and I get this in quite far down actually because that one's got a really good chit on it making sure it's wide enough to take it um, you can pull back the soil but I'm not doing that so cover the first one over so obviously I know where the first one has gone in put my dobber in ready for the next one and I'll show you the finished article in a minute guys okay guys that's all the potatoes uh, planted up now so in these two raised beds here I've put the Red Duke of York gradually as I slowly bring you around uh, this raised bed just here and the one next to it have got the Pentland Javelin I've got in that bed in the very very front is the Sharps Express and if I just bring you over here to this small raised bed I've got the rocket potatoes and then what I'll do is when the second early's are ready to come up which will probably be about the second week of April I will probably put them in this bed here or one of them anyway and then I'll figure out where the others are going because obviously I've got to save um, some raised beds for things like my pumpkins, my sweet corn and various other bits and pieces. But so these are the first lot of potatoes planted out. These are all the first earlies. So hopefully I'll get a lovely crop and they'll already they'll all be ready. Fingers crossed. Um, early sort of June, July time and then my work colleague will have the first few potatoes, fingers crossed for his uh, Spud Series version 2.0 but yeah, there we go guys so that's all I'm doing today and I'll see you guys shortly Right guys, I'm going to shoot off now because I've got a few bits and pieces to do. So, um, these raised beds too here are taking a little bit longer than I've anticipated. But I've got some time off in a week and I'm going to come up and finish them off. So it is literally these two here and then just pulling a few weeds up in this raised bed. Um, most of all the other raised beds have been done now. So as you can see... All of these have been weeded. Some of them have been planted up with broad beans, two different varieties. Others have got kale in and peas in. These ones were done over the weekend and have had compost in, apart from these, this one here. But yeah, it's looking good now, guys. So I'm gonna go home and I'll come back to you guys on another episode.